The smallest AI is throwing some pretty big punches. Look at this. This is their new text-to-speech model with 98 millisecond latency. That's a tenth of a second compared to Bobo V2 from Sarvam at 579 milliseconds. Although Sarvam says that their P90 latency is 398 milliseconds, but it looks like smallest AI did their own benchmarking and concluded that it's a fifth of a second slower than that. So they even put this chicken getting cooked by a bolt of lightning in their promotional video. And this text-to-speech model from Smallest AI is actually called Lightning V2. Welcome to Strawberry Signal. I'm Caleb Friesen, and this is a weekly news show where we take a look at everything that's happening in Indian AI. Hey, sorry to interrupt. This is me from the future talking. Wanted to let you know that the folks over at Sarvam were gracious enough to dub this video in Hindi. This is sort of a proof of concept for them. One of the first times that they've done this, even though they do have very powerful text-to-speech models. And so I want you to go check this out if your primary language is Hindi, then just go down to the settings. I think it'll be down here. Um, click that little cog icon and then switch the language of this video from English to Hindi. Give it a listen and I'd love it if you could give the folks over at Sarvam some feedback on this video. Just leave a comment down below and let me know how they can improve the dubbing. All right, thanks. Back to the video now. And it's worth noting that Smallest AI is both an Indian company, but it's also an American company, which is a little bit different from Sarvam. Axon Wise Private Limited is the registered name for Sarvam, and they're based in Bengaluru, whereas Smallest AI has one foot in India with Awaz Labs Private Limited registered in Pune, but I think their India office is in Indranagar. And then they also have one foot in San Francisco with Smallest Inc. And they're actually a Delaware registered company in the States, but looking at the location of the company's founders, they're probably spending, like a lot of Indian founders, they're spending a lot of time in the Bay Area. And obviously with that incendiary chicken electrocution scene in their video, they're positioning Lightning V2 as a competing service to Bobo V2 in India, whether they're doing it from 14,000 kilometers away or just down the road in Indranagar. And unlike Bobo V2, which supports 10 Indian languages plus English, Lightning V2 actually only supports supports six Indian languages plus English, but they also support a number of global languages like Arabic, Italian, Polish, Spanish, French, German, Dutch, Russian, and Hebrew. So Smallest AI is going for a mix of Indian and global customers, which is probably a smart move revenue-wise. Now, the biggest differentiator here is that Lightning V2 is a third of the cost of Bobo V2. That's 5.9 cents USD or about five rupees per 10,000 tokens compared to Bobo V2, which costs 18 cents. USD or 15 rupees per 10,000 tokens. It's available for developers in Python and Node.js. So let's take Lightning V2 for a spin and see how it performs against Bobo V2. So we're going to start off first with just English as a baseline. I've got the same text pasted in both of these tools here. So let's start with Bobo V2. I'm going to hit generate speech. It's pretty quick. Welcome to Strawberry Signal. I am Caleb Friesen. And let's get into the Indian AI news. We've already heard that last week um, when I tested out Bobo V2. Now let's compare that with Lightning V2. All right, I need to upgrade. Interesting. Let's upgrade then. I guess I'm going to have to spend some money on this video. Okay, so they've got a $5 plan per month. Yeah, hopefully that's enough. Thank you for your purchase. Okay, there you go, smallest AI. You got five of my dollars. Let's see what you can do. Okay, so now I have given them my money and I'm gonna go ahead and generate speech. What? Why do I have to, what are we doing here? What? Uh, premium and above users. Does five, does $5 not get me premium? Basic, $29 a month. Are you crazy? You expect me just to demo this thing to pay you $29? It says here, is voice cloning available for free? I, I'm not voice cloning, but unfortunately, we've kept this as a paid feature to prevent malicious actors from misusing the tool. I'm just shocked that there is no like way to just demo this. Like you can't even just try, try the thing out. Okay, well, here we go. I guess I'm spending $29 instead of, not off to a great start here, folks, but let's go ahead and spend a bunch of money. Let's continue. Okay, I am upgrading to the expensive plan. Here we go, all done. Let's see if we face any more issues. Give me what I paid for. Ready? Generate. Okay, I guess I need to just refresh the page, perhaps. 
let's try it again. Welcome to Strawberry Signal. I am Caleb Friesen. And let's get into the Indian AEI news. Welcome to Strawberry Signal. I am Caleb Friesen. And let's get into the Indian AI news. Welcome to Strawberry Signal. I am Caleb Friesen. And let's get into the Indian AEI news. First of all, Lightning V2 is definitely faster, but is it better? Let me just listen to it one more time. Welcome to Strawberry Signal. I am Caleb Friesen. And let's get into the Indian AEI news. Welcome to Strawberry Signal. I am Caleb Friesen. And let's get into the Indian AI news. Vijay definitely has a little bit more energy than Abhilash. Welcome to Strawberry Signal. I am Caleb Friesen. And let's get into the Indian AEI news. It does feel a little bit more natural. Like it feels less robotic, like a little bit less specifically in the in the sort of tone. Like definitely Bulbul V2 has a little bit of this metallic, almost like tinny sound. Like it's coming to you through some kind of like low quality speaker. Welcome to Strawberry Signal. I am Caleb Friesen. And let's get into the Indian AI news. It feels a little bit synthetic. Whereas with Smallest AI with Vijay here, it feels a little bit more like you are hearing it from a real person, perhaps. Welcome to Strawberry Signal. I am Caleb Friesen. And let's get into the Indian AEI news. And it's a bit more expressive, I would say, a little bit less dead sounding, right? Uh, for some reason, Abhilash just sounds low energy to me. Welcome to Strawberry Signal. I am Caleb Friesen. Maybe, maybe he's just more peaceful. Vijay is a little bit more expressive. Welcome to Strawberry Signal. I am Caleb Friesen. And let's get into the Indian AEI news. Okay, so now let's try these two models out, but with Hindi instead of English. And so here we have the menu for Lightning V2, and it's actually pretty amazing. I mean, look at this. Look at how many voices there are. And a lot of these, like you can see these ones are just for V1, Lightning V1. But then later on, we see that there's a bunch of voices here for Lightning V2, uh, which is pretty cool. So I'm not sure what would happen if we took, like, for example, Natasha, and then we asked Natasha to speak Hindi. Let's just try it out and see what happens. Um, all right, Natasha, do your thing. Strawberry Signal mein aapka swagat hai. Main Caleb Fryson hu. Aur aaye bhaatiye aai samachar par charcha kare. Wow, she sounds like very intense. A uh, little bit angry. <laughs> Hey, there's someone who's Canadian. Wow, that's kind of cool. Are there other Canadians? What is Canadian? Is it, does it really sound that different from... Okay, Erica can also do Hindi. Let's try Erica. Strawberry Signal mein aapka swagat hai. Main Caleb Fryson hoon aur aaye bharti aai samachar par charcha karein. Okay, she's... To me, I don't know if... Because I don't speak Hindi, but she sounds like an NRI. <laughs> is, is that accurate? Strawberry Signal mein aapka swagat hai. Main Caleb Fryson hoon aur aaye bharti aai samachar par charcha karein. Okay, so I, I don't think it's really fair to compare someone who sounds Canadian but speaking Hindi with... Uh, it just... It won't give us an accurate comparison. So let's put Priya here. And we'll just play Priya. Let's generate the speech. Strawberry Signal mein aapka swagat hai. Main Caleb Fryson hoon aur aaye bharti aai samachar par charcha karein. And then let's generate for Manisha here. It feels like it's the same amount of speed. Like I don't, I don't think the milliseconds really make much of a difference because it's all sub one second. Probably if you're actually running AI agents and they're doing like calls, then it would make a meaningful difference. But here, while we're just generating these tests, I don't think it really makes a difference to me. But let's check uh, Manisha out here. Strawberry Signal mein aapka swagat hai. Main Caleb Fryson hoon aur aaye bharti AI samachar par charcha kare. Strawberry Signal mein aapka swagat hai. Main Caleb Fryson hoon aur aaye bharti AI samachar par charcha kare. Okay. So I, I I do feel a little bit like Priya sounds somewhat more natural, a little bit less um, buttoned up, right? It feels like Manisha here from Bobo V2 is speaking in a very sort of cautious, safe way. And interestingly too, with Lightning V2, you get all these options, right? So uh, I'm not even sure what all of these do. Like consistency, for example, allows you to fix skipping or repeated words if you change the slider. There's the sample rate. There's the speed. Let's just jack up the speed and see what happens here. I'm going to regenerate and let's... Oh, that's really fast. Wow. Why would you ever need that? Let's just try 1.5. Strawberry Signal mein aapka swagat hai. Main Caleb Fryson hoon aur aaye bharti aai samachar par charcha kare. Okay, still way too fast. Um, not sure, maybe 1.2 we can try. Maybe that'll make a difference. Strawberry Signal mein aapka swagat hai. Main Caleb Fryson hoon aur aaye bharti aai samachar par charcha kare. Yeah, that seems fast enough, like slow enough that you can understand what she's saying. So one thing that I would like here in this menu is actual explanations for what I'm looking at. Um, the only one that actually has information is consistency. 
So when we look at speed, there's just, I mean, speed is kind of self-explanatory, but then sample rate, I don't really know what that is. Similarity, enhancement, like there's no information for what these actually do. And so you end up having to use your credits uh, to find out what these different sliders actually do, which uh, I don't really like, um, <laughs> especially because I'm, I'm paying for this, right? So um, it feels like every credit that I'm using is depleting my balance. And I just want to try one more language here. So I'm going to put, uh, this is in Tamil, and I'm going to look for Tamil. And we can see we've got uh, Vidya here who speaks Tamil. And I'm just going to keep these settings the same. And then I'm going to hit generate. And I already pasted this in, by the way, the Tamil text. Um, this is all through Google Translate. So I don't know if it's actually an accurate translation. But let's generate and see what uh, what she sounds like. Strawberry signal to Veruhe. Nan Kale Preisen. India AI Seidhikalukul Nulaivom. OK. I don't speak Tamil. So I don't know if that's if that sounds good. But let's try Bobo V2 with Arya. So I'd, I'd love to hear from anyone who speaks Tamil if this actually sounds good and which one sounds better. All right, next up in the Indian AI news, a Bengaluru-based company called Prava has just launched a $10 job, which they're referring to as Upwork, but for AI agents. Now, in case you're not familiar with Prava, they're building a payment stack to allow AI agents to make financial transactions. And so the idea with $10 job is to show a use case for this payment stack. It's a marketplace where you can hire a team of AI agents for complex jobs, and it's cheaper than hiring human freelancers. It's on demand. And of course, you get much faster turnaround times for these projects than you would with humans. $10 job is also pretty cool because AI agent developers and startups can list their agents on the website and monetize them. So right now there are only 22 agents on the platform and the going rate for these agents is about 50 cents per job. That's about 42 rupees. Although if your prompt is more complex and involves multiple agents, then you're gonna end up paying more. But the orchestration engine for $10 job has been built from the ground up in-house in India. And they're planning to make it open source soon. As always, I'm gonna be putting a link to this website in the pinned comment down below. And this is just food for thought, but I think it'd be really cool if something like this were implemented for broader use cases, not just for AI enthusiasts and developers and founders, but for everyday people. A sort of wallet that could be safely accessed by AI agents to make ongoing purchases on your behalf. Like, I would love it if an AI agent from $10 Club could connect to, for example, the WhatsApp API and also the Ferns and Petals MCP, which I'm pretty sure doesn't exist. But imagine if that agent could message me on WhatsApp, confirm that it's my wife's anniversary or Mother's Day or my wife's birthday, and I would say yes, and then it goes ahead and uses some of the money that I've put in my $10 job wallet and orders me flowers and then messages me on WhatsApp telling me that those flowers are gonna be delivered in an hour. I feel like that would be, I think that's gonna be normal in a couple of years delegating stuff like this to AI agents, but I just don't know if it's too early for this in 2025 or if it's the perfect time because of how fast things are accelerating with AI. It's very hard to tell, but I wish Shopam and Sushant from Prava all the best. Okay, so now let's move on to something that you should all know about. There is a hackathon happening from May 14th to May 21st. This is being put on by Reddit's r slash AI agents community. It's open to anybody, whether you're an AI expert or you're just getting started with vibe coding. Registration is free and this is a global hackathon, although many of the judges are Indian. And of course, the thing that everybody wants to know is what are the prizes here, Why, right? Well, there's gonna be sponsor specific prizes, there will be cash prizes, and also cloud credits too. There will be a community vote prize where you'll be featured on r slash AI agents and pinned on that subreddit for a month. And that subreddit, by the way, has more than 100,000 members. So this should be pretty meaningful. And then there will also be an opportunity to meet with VCs as a prize as well. And I'll put a link to their Luma and website in the pinned comment down below so that you can sign up if you're interested in this. All right, next up, this will be a quick one here. Google has opened applications for their Google for Startups Accelerator AI First program. This is a three month long equity free accelerator program that Google is putting on in collaboration with Mighty, Mighty, I never know how to say that, the Mighty Startup Hub. This cohort will consist of between 10 and 15 India based seed to Series A startups, and it's going to be a mix of virtual and in person sessions. 
Being a part of this program gives you up to $350,000 in Google Cloud credits. You get 30 days of free cloud TPU access and applications close on June 30th. And I'll put a link to apply in the pinned comment. All right, that is all the Indian AI news that I have for you all this week. And one thing before I sign off here, if you're enjoying this series, the biggest thing that you can do to help me make better videos is tag me on X and share the Indian AI news items that you come across throughout the week. But with that said, I'm Caleb Friesen, and this has been Strawberry Signal. I'll catch you in the next one.